Well, data waning, uh, all the economic data starting to wane, and the Obama legacy, let's just call it a disaster. Hillary Clinton now talking up her husband's success that saw a boon for the GDP and the stock market. But Bill Clinton, let's face it, he's got an assortment of baggage from personal scandals to, uh, to reforms that saw incarcerations of some of Hillary Clinton's strongest voting blocks uh, go through the roof. So it's a mixed message, and you've got to wonder, is Bill worth it? Joining me now, Tammy Bruce and Jillian Melcher are back, joined by Ford O'Connell and Star Parker. Star, let me start with you. You know, Hillary Clinton uh, kind of grasping, saying, hey, okay, I'll bring Bill in. We know GDP was at 4%. The stock market went through the roof, but we also saw more recently where Black Lives Matter showed up to one of his events and saying, hey, some of this welfare stuff you did end up putting more black people in prison. How much of a double-edged sword is this for her? It's very difficult because they have to get up to those numbers that Barack Obama was able to get to. 65 million need to vote so that they will uh, win, so that they will beat Donald Trump in the fall. So she has to play this balancing act. She knows that Bill Clinton is very popular in minority communities and in particular because of his economic policies. So she's going to try her best to pull that group out to the polls so that they can win. Ford, I, what, what do you make of this thing? I mean, last, night, last picture I saw Bill, uh, Bill Clinton, to be quite frank with you, he didn't look like he was up to the task of, you know, helping someone revitalize an entire economy, let alone America's. Well, it also shows me how tone deaf she is to the needs of the white working class voter as concerns with Clinton on trade, manufacturing, and fossil fuels. This is the man who pushed through NAFTA. And on top of it, let's be honest, when it comes to social situations, he's got more luggage than a Louis Vuitton factory. Forget what's happening with Monica and Juanita Broderick. We're also talking about what's coming out with Jeffrey Epstein, who's a registered sex offender. So Bill Clinton's got a lot of problems because if you want to hit... Donald Trump with a war on women card, boy, you better look in the mirror because somebody's going to question whether or not you're protecting women's yeah, rights. Yeah, see, Ford's one of those rich guys. I would have said a Samsonite factory, yeah. but that's, you know. Uh, what do you make of it, Jillian? Well, well, you know, I think the Epstein thing is a great point. If you look at him, I mean, read through the court records. Read what Jeffrey Epstein was doing Should to we, these women. Uh, maybe everyone mm -hmm. in the audience doesn't know Jeff, Jeffrey Epstein. Yep. Can you t explain real quick? Yeah, the basic summary is this is a multi-billionaire who was grooming young, young underage women, um, taking them to his house for massages and then having sex. He actually went I mean, to was, prison for some sort of offense. He got off pretty light, and there's some questions about his political ties. I think what we're, we're finding out now, though, first of all, is that um, Bill Clinton was on his private plane, the Lolita Express, more than we had originally known. Was that and the real name of all, it? That was, that was what he called it. it was that was the nickname where... for this plane where <laughs> yeah. he would hook up with these yeah. underage girls. He'd have sex with girls on this plane. Sure. But so I, think I, the I other... remember the, the trips, and I thought, yeah. hey, this is a very powerful guy. Mm -hmm. But maybe they have more things in common. So you, than can, that. you can look through the flight logs and see Bill Clinton pop up. But the news today is that he was actually on more time. So there's question of a cover up in that sense. I think Donald Trump's going to have a hard time wielding that, though, because Virginia Roberts, That's the right. woman who broke the story open, met Epstein at Mar a Lago. And by the way, Donald Trump described Epstein as a friend, too. Yeah. Uh, what do you think right. of this whole yeah. thing? I mean, Bill, Bill Clinton is, a, it, to me, is a, is, I mean, I, he, the last Bill who was this dangerous in the White yeah. House uh, was Jimmy Carter's brother, <laughs> Billy. Right. Look, yeah. I, I worked on the uh, Clinton. Clinton campaign in 92. And for me, I, as a feminist, I want a woman to be president, just not, of course, this particular one. But what was shocking for me, actually outrageous, she's running and saying to be the first woman president, and, and a woman can do this. And then she says, but I'm going to hand off one of the most important jobs of the presidency to the man. I'm going to give the heavy lifting to the guy. It was extraordinary when the argument is we can do this. The first woman president had better be able to do it. It would be like giving up being commander in chief to to a guy. You know, this is remarkable. It was pandering to that Kentucky audience that she is, of course, also is harmed by because of her coal comments, almost as though saying, don't worry about me economically. I'll give it to my husband. Well, I don't want the first lady man uh, to be handling <laughs> the economic situation of this yeah. country or any well, other you've, dynamic. You've also got to look at the Wall Street Journal article that came out last week about uh, Clinton Global Initiative peddling influence, getting friends subsidies. Yeah. I think that but is a flash of the that. Clinton economy. Yeah, yeah. And what we're going to see is both sides. Hold mm -hmm. on one second, Star. Go ahead, Star. What we're going to see is both the Clinton camp and the Trump camp playing against each other very negatively. But at the end of the day, what Hillary does know about Bill's draw is that it will bring these minorities out. While, while Ford said, you know, this white anger is there and she's not tapping into it, what those Democrats do know is that white anger is in red states more so than not. And the real battle is how many of their constituencies can they get out? They love Bill Clinton and they don't care right. what job he's going right. to do. It Start. doesn't matter well, about the feminist message. That probably secures to them. the states like. 
like New York and, and maybe even helps with the Ohio's. We got to we got to leave it there for it. I'm bringing all you guys back a little bit later.